Hi, I'm Roberto Martinez and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome to the instant match reaction for Everton 1, Swansea 2. What a load of absolute crap that was, I'm afraid. That is one of the worst displays I've seen from an Everton team in a very long time. Uh, just absolutely awful. It was a game that we really needed to win, um, regardless of what's happening in the League Cup next week. That was a game we needed to win. And, and we got beat, and we deserved to get beat because we were absolutely crap. I don't care what anyone says, we were absolutely crap. Playing a team like Swansea at home, they've never even beaten us in the Premier League before. Um, and today, didn't have to do much to get those three points. We were abysmal. Started slowly again. Picked the wrong team again. Don't care what anyone says, picked the wrong team again. Uh, yes, very unfortunate with injuries. But why, why start Seamus Coleman on the bench? If he's fit to be on the bench... Then why not start him? Get an hour out of him and then bring um Oviedo on. Not not have, not having a go at Oviedo as such, but so clearly he hasn't got a right foot. And Swansea were trying to hit us down there all the time with, with obviously uh Delafeu in front of him. Uh John Stones, um I said last week uh, in the in uh, the match preview that I thought it'd be a good good chance to rest him and play Jags, and yeah, he rests Jags and Stones is you know, not today's not an accident. Stones was absolutely awful today. Um, it was so you know it had been coming today. He just looks so lethargic lef lef on the ball. Doesn't actually look like he wants to be at Goodison Park. To be fair, um, everything he does, he's trying to do it in his own way, uh, and the manager just lets him get away with it. Um, let's just talk about the penalty. Um, <laughs> What can I say? I, I, I don't want to go overboard about this, but the goalie again. I know I know. loads of people are telling me that it was John Stones' fault. And yes, it was a poor back pass from John Stones. But I'm sitting in the guy the street and I'm looking straight at it. And for me, Tim Howard doesn't even see Ayu. He doesn't even see him. He waits, he sees the ball and then he suddenly clicks that Ayu's there and then just takes a swipe at it. It was a bad back pass. I fully understand that, but even once he's seen Ayu, why is he having a why is he having a kick at it? Why not just the lad's got nowhere to go, so why not just stand up and let him go out of play or take it out of play? The lad's got nowhere to go. One nil up. It doesn't take as long to get back into it. Uh, from a set piece, it was an own goal, and then nothing, nothing. You know they they. We don't really do anything. We don't push for. We have plenty of chances uh, in terms of possession and making chances. But we've had two shots on target the whole game. And do you know what? I should be really, really angry. But I'm not because I'm sitting there again. And I'm waiting for all this to unfold because I've seen it before. Um, and it's abysmal. It's abysmal. That's 10 home defeats now since the start of last season and 10 home game wins. That's awful. People talk about the atmosphere at Goodison. It's always a stick to beat the fans who go the game. Um, the atmosphere is terrible. Why are you getting on the back of certain players? Because that's what we watch week in and week out. It's rubbish. It's rubbish to watch. Um, and there was only one man to blame, and that's Martinez. It's as simple as that. Now, I know he got, I know, as I say, the injuries, losing Mo Bessage so early on. Mo hits the post and he's, he's his normal busy self and he just goes down and you just know it's it's a bad one. He's got to go off. And cleverly comes on. And unfortunately, there's no energy in there. If McCarthy's not in there and Mo's not in there, there's no energy in there. We're just dead slow. Um, we don't press. And it was just a terrible game. You know, Ross is trying to trying to do stuff, trying to make things happen. It just wasn't happening for him. People start getting on his back. And we just look so poor. Lukaku just doesn't look fit to me. And we haven't got a replacement. So what what do we do? Because we haven't got a replacement for him. I'm saying, we're not saying we're not going to start Kone. Um, it's just not good enough. And it starts with the manager. And I think for a lot of people, this week will be very defining for the manager. If we get beat by Manchester City, um, I think that'll be it. I don't think the club will sack him because I don't think there's anyone at the club who could sack him. Um, you know... It's it's just it's just a really really it's just a really really shoddy situation, you know. <sighs> Five home defeats so far this season, awful, absolutely awful. Three wins at home, awful. Middle of January, it's just depressing. And all you keep on hearing is, "Oh, we'll get it right." 
when when's it gonna get right because the likes of John Stones I don't think he wants to be I don't today he looks like he doesn't want to be at Everton looks like he wants to be somewhere else and if someone get offered us the kind of money that's getting talked about I think I'd take it my only worry would be if we took it what would Martinez do with it because uh, I just I just don't see the point there's times today we just want you want Stones to just put his foot through it because we're so desperate not to get beat or to win a game that you just want him to put his foot through it. And there's an edginess. Now, you got to expect that from the crowd. As I said, 10 wins in a season and a half is just, it's awful. Now, one win in 10, that's relegation form. It really is. And we're in the same, exactly the same position we were last season. And what did he do last season? He started to go longer. He binned off his principles. What does that tell you? The team's just not good enough to play the kind of football he wants to play. It's not. You can't be so kamikaze. And it's not even like... It's not even that we're open. We don't press teams. We don't get at them. We don't have a go. We just stand off and let them play. It's embarrassing. Some of the football... is It's embarrassing to watch. And I really fear... For the team. Because I just don't think... Man, this just hasn't got a clue for me. It just hasn't got a clue. And people keep on saying to me, oh, you, all you do is have a goal, man. Well, you know what? I haven't said one. Sack him. I've said, please change what you're doing. And he do, He won't. And I've said I'll give him to the end of the season. And I probably still feel that way. But at the same time, I just don't think we're going to do anything this season. It's And it's just really sad because he's got some top players there. Number one, he won't change the goalie. There you go. <laughs> what, what more do I need to say? The goalie's an absolute clown and he plays him every week. He always does one thing every week. It's got to the point now where he makes simple saves and people are like, oh, great save, great save. And he's like, no, that's what he gets paid for. I get paid to take people from A to B. He makes simple saves. That's it. That's his job. I can't say it was his fault for the second goal. Some people have, but I, I, I don't know if it was, but it took a wicked deflection, but... We've just got a clown and goal that needs to be binned off. Simple as that. And we'll go from there. We'll start from there. It's it's it, it's just oh it's just I just for the life of me, why is he resting? Unless Jagielka's got a like a real knock. Why is he resting him today? Why? Take stones out the side, he's the one who, who clearly needs it. You know, he's he's been getting increasingly more frustrated, I think, with him with the team himself and the fans recently. So take him out the firing line. Ah, that's just you know and what makes it worse is that to me today is just one of the worst performances I've seen is so lackluster and as I say there's changes I understand that and take Morales off but Pina come on and actually had a decent game I thought Pina played well some people saying he's finished I thought he had a good game um, Delefeu second half looked really good three crosses which someone should have knocked in um, and Coleman comes on at sub and that's two of the that miss I, I need to watch it again but it looks like actually if he'd left it it probably just would have gone in and I know people can say well we've been unlucky and stuff but I think we've had 20 shots there and we've had two on target it's not good enough it's not good enough and the difference is that teams that win things would have sacked Martinez by now look at Liverpool they they, they got they Got to a point with with Rogers, and they just they seen a better opportunity, and you just went and got it. Now I don't know if there's a better opportunity out there for us to go and get, but big teams wouldn't put up with this. They really wouldn't. But we're just nice. We're the gentleman's club, you know. We're the gentleman. We're the gentleman. We're gentlemen. That's what we are with the gentleman's club, and uh, we ju- we put up with this. Um, I wonder why not ever changes. Because there's no ruthless, no, and I'm not saying sack him. What I'm saying is there's no pressure on him. I, you, you know, I know there's stuff going on behind the scenes of the club and Bill's health and all that. So who's running the club? Who's running it? You know, last week I heard um, Kerbersley come out and have a go at his keeper, basically saying he knows that this is not good enough and he better sort himself out. So there's pressure from the manager on one of his players instantly. Well, where's the pressure from the club? One win in ten games. One win in ten games. That's not good enough. Um, and it, if it is good enough for you, then you're supporting the wrong club. Because that's not good enough for me. I won't have that. 
Um, so this week's a massive week because I think if we get beat Wednesday, then I think that would be the writing on the wall for a lot of people. Um, but unfortunately, uh, no one cares. The national press don't care. The local press don't care. They're abysmal. They couldn't. They'll go in and ask him a couple of questions, and then he'll come in and smile, and it'll be here, be all right. No one will ask him why he puts up with that clown in defence. No one will ask him why the defence is letting in. We've conceded the more goals at home than any other team in the Premier League, and that's a team that that's a Premier League that consists of Aston Villa, by the way. Um, where's the? He keeps. He thinks it's gonna change like that. Where's the change? Where is the change? Because I can't see it. Because this is now where we should be knuckling down and getting back to basics. And I'm still seeing the same mistakes. Our centre our centre halves are bombing forward. John Stones is bombing down the right wing. Really? If he doesn't get a grip, then he needs to walk. It's as simple as that. I know for a lot of people they already feel like he should have be walked. Should feel like he should have gone last season. Um it's just not good enough. It's abysmal. And I, as I say, I should be a lot angrier, but I'm I d I can't be bothered getting to that point because what what would be the point? Because it's every week. I'm not, I'm not surprised by it now. I'm not surprised by it at all. So they, they, there's no point being angry about it. Otherwise, I'd, I'd probably have a heart attack like I nearly did last week on the show. Um, right. Make sure you leave your comments below. Uh, me and Baz will be back for the final word where I'm sure one of us will probably combust by the time we've heard man, this is full transcript and the referee should have given us two pens and um, those kind of things. So Ken, you can blame the ref. We probably should have had fouls before both goals. Probably should have had a pen. But listen, I'm I'm not in the habit of blaming other people when it's clearly our fault. So um, we'll be back. Final word to put all this in and uh, talk more about this. See you soon on Toffee TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join us on Twitter as well at Toffee TV One, Facebook dot uh, com forward slash Toffee TV ESC. See you later.